Hi YouTubers, it's Tequila. I am here to do a tutorial on these eyes and they are inspired by the True Blood palette from Tarte. So let me zoom you in so you can take a look at what the video is about. So this is the eyes. So if you want to see how to get this look, just stay tuned and watch. Thanks. Okay, so I've already primed my lid with um, the primer that comes in the True Blood palette. And I've actually already added my um, eyebrows. The eyebrows, I use this blue glittery color that's in the True Blood, pa blue, True Blood palette. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm using this cherry color from NYX. And I'm going to apply that to the lid. And bring it all the way up to the socket area. Because this design is pretty high up. Okay. okay. Next I'm using this little flat brush just to kind of rub it up. So, now if your eye looks like someone just kissed your eyeball that was half full of lipstick, then you're on the right track to where I'm going. I like to let that sit just for a second before I start applying eyeshadows to it. Because some of these NYXs are a little more creamier than the milk. And it tends to start creasing right away, even with the primer, if I don't let it sit, at least on my eye. Next, I'm going to use this flat shading brush here. And I'm going to grab that True Blood palette. And I'm going to grab this burgundy here, which is called V in the palette. Yes, it's called V. So uh, I am going to pat that color everywhere you see red. So now I look like somebody socked me in the eye after they kissed my eye. And I'm going to come in with that True Blood palette using that blue glittery color that I used on my eyebrows right there. What color is that? No Nocturnal? Nocturnal, if I'm saying that right. It's that color. And I got a mess in front of me here. Let's see. I'm using a Sigma pencil brush and it's E30 from Sigma. So I'm going to grab some of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that around the eye, top of the socket area, bringing that in here, going to about right here. And then also coming out this way into the eyebrow, into the eye, um, la eyelash line. Ooh, I can't talk. Okay. And then make sure you bring that in there. Okay. And then over here, you're going to grab a little more and kind of bring it in. Right here, you really want that point to be. Okay. okay, so now you have something that looks like this. And next, I come in with this blending brush. It's a fluffy one. Um, it's a cute little cow thingy. So it's a little fluffy brush here. And from my True Blood palette, I am going to be using this pink here, which is called Fairy. I'll grab that and then hit right at the line and blend all that upward. You just want to make that line less harsh. So now I'm going to come in with the, a lighter color from the Tarte palette right over here and it's a beige color and it is called Dawn. John. Okay, and I'm using this um, fluffy brush that I got from Coastal Scents. I'm going to grab some of that and lighten up this area. What I'm going to do now is I'm getting a makeup wipe. And I'm going to sharpen up that line just like so. Just that simple. You see, now it has that point that I was looking for.
I am going to, who is this from, who makes this? Physician's Formula, and I'm using um, the stack that came in for the hazel green eyes, and I'm using purple. And I'm going to line my waterline with that. And I want you to take that same brush and grab some of the, I'm using Glamour Me, which is the purple out of my True Blood palette. And I am going to set that eyeliner with that. And that just sets it so it doesn't just like run off. Looking for this brush. Okay, it's an eyeliner brush, and what I want you to go in and grab some of that color V, and then come in from the eyeshadow and bring it all the way in. You're going to um, smudge it underneath your eye, um, eyeliner, the purple eyeliner. I thought my camera's battery died, so I had to apply more batteries. Oops, but just continue to fill in that line with the V. What I'm going to do now is use um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is glitter glue. And I'm going to apply that onto the burgundy part, and then I'm going to add the glitter. And it's this glitter here. And it's from LA Colors. And it's in, mm, I don't have a color, it just has a number 239. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to get some of that on my hand here. And then apply, um, I do it in two portions so that the glue doesn't dry before I finish applying. So. Okay, and then press the glitter, making sure that it's sticking to the glue. Just press on it. Just to ensure it holds through the whole time that you plan on using it. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to apply this awesome eyeliner. It's really black. Look at this. It's so cute. I got it at the dollar store today for $1. I am in love with it. It's a TUSA. It's a liquid eyeliner and it's the blackest eyeliner I've ever seen. Look at this. Look at that. It's the blackest eyeliner I've ever that I've ever come across. So yeah, so I'm gonna just apply that to the top of my lid. just like so and it's really cute I'm probably gonna go back and get some more to do in some giveaways later on so um, what I'm gonna do now is use this Urban Decay um, primer potion for my lashes to help make them do this number here okay. give that just a second and then I am going to be applying Hopefully mascara. I'll be using um, black from Avon in their Super Shock. Okay, now I'm going to use um, this George, George, what is this? Georgiana Deep Purple Lip Liner. You see how I left the middle empty? It's because I'm going to be applying some. Um, from NYX, it's Sparkling Orchard which is my favorite. Back in and grabbing some of that LA, color, uh, LA Colors glitter that I just used and applying some of that just in the middle. Hey okay guys, so this is the final look. Let me zoom you in just so you can see. Oh, wrong way. And I love it. So that is the final. Oh, wrong way again. So that's the final look. 
and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial with my absolutely favorite palette in the world and that is the um, True Blood palette from Tarte and um, I guess I'll see you guys at the next ones um, and if you have any questions regarding this palette um, please don't hesitate to ask and I will see you guys at the next tutorial and if you have any requests don't forget to leave those down in the comments or send me a message so yeah guys I will see you at the next one and as always God bless